In other words, this is going to be one of the tests that we're going to have. And we have to understand what would we learn from the test. Just like we left the Lech Lecha last week, we discovered what is it, the real test. So we have to understand the stories. Now, his Avram Avinu is called the Avah Chesed, not the Avah Tzdokeh. So he's, he's thinking, now obviously he's giving meals to people that need the meals. So that's called Avach Tzdokeh. So why are we calling him Avach Chesed? So let's see the story. Let's see, don't understand the story. What is it there? Uh, we, we know that, that Avram Avinu, uh, this is the third day of his meal, and Avdur Ben Shalom had Rachmanis on him. He was very interested in helping people. So he brought out the sun and made it very hot that people couldn't travel, and therefore they didn't travel. But instead, what Avram Avinu was so aggravated, running around all over town trying to find the people that need help, that are self over there, that finally the mention sends him three malachim. So you have that Avram is dying to do chesed, and he sends him three malachim, and the first thing he says, I got to go get, go to my wife and got to make some bread. That means I have nothing in the house to feed you with. So what is it? What kind of bar chesed are you? You're waiting over there. Okay. So the idea is, is there's two scenarios I can give you. Okay. Scenario number one. is a person, he has a chavruse, and we've learned with this guy for 10 years. And they got married, and Baruch Hashem, this guy, one of them moves to El Tzisrael. And he hasn't seen him for 10, 15 years. And one, one day, he's, 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 what's a Sunday? I'll tell you the reason why I say Sunday. And he opens his eyes, he's in shul, and there's his friend, his chavosa. So he runs over to him, and he says, to him, you know, you're in, you're in town. What brings you here? I said, I have family business to do, whatever it is there. So he says, you got to come and pee by me. He says, no, I was planning on going to the deep pizza store, get a Danish and coffee, and I'll be fine. Says, no, no, no. I need you to come up to us. I haven't seen you in years. We have to talk a little bit. And so he thinks, okay. okay. Guy agrees. They come up to the house. He runs into his wife. She's off at Sunday. As I said, she's not working. He wakes her up and he tells her, you got to get up. My chavrusa from, from years ago. Is here and I haven't seen him for so many years. You got to go make something special, make some latkes or something for him or whatever it is. Then he wakes up his kid who was off for Shabbos. He had his off Shabbos that week. And then he's going to the late minion. And he wakes up and he says, You got to go down to the minion now. He go into the uh, advertising store when, it's, when it opens right after Davening. And you get all the bagels they got, all the different kinds you can think of, all the different kinds of fish they can have, and you bring it up. Meanwhile, he, he goes into the kitchen, he remembers what he was able to make in yeshiva, he learns how to make some eggs, uh, whatever it is, and, he, and he's giving the guy that the thing didn't do. Anyway, at the end of the day, this guy who only wanted a Danish and coffee, he ended up eating all this food, and he says to him, you know, I know you ate a lot more than you expected to, but it was all hopped up. We didn't really prepare for you. But come for supper, we're going to prepare for you. And we're going to, you're going to taste something you... What do you... Okay. So the guy agrees and whatever it is. That's scenario number one. Scenario number two is in the, in the east side, the Beth Israel Hospital was the only kosher hospital years ago. So therefore, people who had kids can tell them, used to go there. In other words, they'd go into a doctor that belonged to Beth Israel. And uh, so they can get their baby, so they can have kosher. Meanwhile, uh, the husbands don't get that. And if they came in on Shabbos, you know, so the guy needs a, me a meal. So they walked down to MTJ, which is about a mile from the hospital. And they would dive in there, and then there's someone. Someone can give them, give them a meal. So they would send them like to Yankel's house. Now, Yankel's house was a house that had, when you get to the there was five, five full spicen. In other words, uh, appetizers, you could have a kettle of a grapefruit, a honeydew, uh, whatever it is, they didn't think of. Yeah. 
Then he get five kinds of fish, a choice of five kinds of fish. You can have carp, wild fish, salmon, get filter fish, a little sole. You have then came to three types of soups. You had a chicken soup and a vegetable soup and a, what do you call soup? What do we call? Uh, three soups. <laughs> they had five kinds of meats and six kinds of kugel and ten types of pipes for dessert. Okay. These two guys come home to their wives. The second guy says to his wife, you know, they eat good in that house. What do you mean they eat good in the house? You ate good for you. They didn't make it for me. They made it for themselves. They said they let me come to join it with them, but they made it good now. The first guy, though, they didn't know what to do for me. That was the difference. So, I mean, so Avram Avinu, if he would have had everything ready, that was, oh, come in, I have to have some cake, have some this. So, it's not, they eat good in that house. That's all, it doesn't mean anything. I made it for you. You're, you're an Arab, nobody cares about you. I'll take you, come into my house. I'll make you a, a, a new fresh bread, a new thing, a very special food. Oh, they really like me. They really care about me. So that's what the chesed is. That's not sucket. That's chesed. Now, what the stock is, the, what I give you, it's and how I give you is the chesed. So that's the chesed. Okay. Um, um, now, We'll talk about this later. Not so about you got home at nine. We'll talk about it. Okay. Anyway, uh, he also runs out to make meat. A book of what's up for? Like we said, like I said the other one we gave you. Obviously, he didn't give it for breakfast, the roast that his wife was going to make for supper, right? Because it takes a few hours to cook. It doesn't happen right away, right? This is the bit. Same thing, you shechting. What are you going to do, shech the, the cow? Now, Baruch Hashem, I learned from the shritas we have in the yeshiva that it doesn't, it's not really a long action to skin an animal. I thought it was a big, well, it was a long action. Well, this seems to be, you can do it. If you know how to do it, you can do it quickly. But quickly also takes a little time. Okay, so it means you can peel the skin off. But after that, Avram Avinu is Mikhaim Kolate Rikula. So he had the treibel, get rid of the chaylev, the giranoshe, right? He had to salt it, he had to bake it, and then he had to cook it five, six hours at least, right? So you can tell me the reason he took the tongue, the, the medrash, he took the tongues, is because it's the fastest thing you can do. You slit, the, you slit the throat. You don't have to peel anything. You just pull out the tongue, give a chop off, and pull out the, there's a gid in there you have to take out. So they take that out, and then they put it right on the on the fire, and, it's, and in 15 minutes, you got yourself a, a meal. So what's the kasha? Why he had to, he gave him the tongue. No, no, like she says, he gave it because that was the most hush of the part of the thing. Gave it to with this. So that means if the guy doesn't like tongue, because he, he just imagines it uh, the way it licks the dirt. So therefore, he's going to ask for a rib steak instead. So I have to have a rib steak. So therefore, I have to cash it and have to work and have to, have to do everything about it and have to be ready with the whole behemoth. So he's not having it for breakfast. So it's going to be for hours yet. He's going to wait till we get it done. So that's crazy. I mean, the guy, you invite a guy to your house. Obviously, he's thirsty. The first thing, guy comes into your house, he asks you, you need water to drink, you need coffee maybe, you need something to drink, something, you know, something to eat, whatever it is there. But you expect because he's hungry now, not an hour from now. So what is this mind that he went, that he went to the cows for? Right? El of us, he invented, he's, he's, he's asking them to stay for the day over there. Okay? So therefore, if we learn my way, then this whole linear the maloch of eating milchiks and fleshiks together doesn't exist. Ah, it says, And he gave him. That's tiny. It sounds like they ate it together. And therefore, it can't be that that's the way it is. And since the maloch 
Whatever it is, Torah is not for them. Whatever the Torah is trying to be with. But it's not in reality. In reality, he gave them, he had to give them something right away. That's the chemba and the, and, 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 and the, and the malcholov. Gave him cream and butter and milk, Melech. What do you do with cream? You drink cream? You put it in your coffee, maybe, but you don't drink it, right? So what do you, so what do you give chemo and, and milk? Uh, the milk is chemo, whatever it is there. It's a mixed up, it's not imaginized that you should get up. Whatever it is there. Elevos, the is, gave him ice cream. That, that's the goods of the day. So he gave him cream, he gave him milk. So they have something to eat, they're not hungry anymore. Now I'm asking you, hang around for later. I want to be able to be mechabed you. This is just the, off the cuff and stuff like that. But if you don't have anything in the house, mommy's not even going to give you a drink. It's from a sugar. I don't have anything prepared for you, but I have something in the house. Okay, so that's the thing then. Okay. And, and then... Uh, then he says, Vayemri love, they said to him, Aye Solish Dacha, where's your wife Sohan? You know, the first thing that should have gone up in Sola's mind, it says she's 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 uh, uh that she's at the end of the door and she's laughing. You know, not the same meaning a derisive laugh. Um and the, the, you know, they, they, like they seem to be a tiny on Sola, the Vashiva is is this. But we'll see, I don't think it's a cash. We'll see in a minute why. But anyway, when he says, uh, you know, by Avram Avinu, it says, that he laughed by Yitzchok, that he was glad, he was Mesameach, that God's going to give me a child yet. And for her, she's making the derisative laugh. Like, oh, you can give me a kid now when I'm an old man. Like, what's the interest of it, right? So he said, so the Roshiva asked the Kaisha, what's your Kaisha? And Sora heard it from a bunch of Arabs. She didn't know anything, the Arabs. And he heard it from God. So of course, he knows the, the truth. She's, she's laughing at the thing, like you guys, are, you don't even know who you are. But I'm asking a better question. How did she know her name was Sora? You'll say, because it says she got the name last Sadra. If you take a look at Rashi, Rashi says as soon as he's been, God's finished speaking to him, he went and he mouthed himself. So he did it immediately. He didn't have any chance to, to change his, his uh, mailbox and put on it Avraham and Sarah over here now instead of Av- Avram and Sarai. Right? He didn't think there. So, and, and how would you Arabs know her name is Sarah? So the first thing she should have said, you got the wrong address because I don't even know if she knows it. But one thing you know for sure, they're not Arabs. If they know the name is Sora, if she knew it already, then they knew that these guys are Malachim. Because that was how they know. But there was after the eating. But, they, but, but when she heard it, she knew. So they thought she was Kash. She really thought she was not a Kash. You know what I'm saying? The thing. But you go to the Pash, this is the Dava. Okay. And, and she lives, and it says that she, she stopped being. Tell me. Can, we, can we explain how did she know? How did Malachim know her name? That's yeah, so what I'm saying. So Malachim knew her name because the Malachim. They heard, they heard God say, go with him. That is, you're going to give her your name. They, so they knew it. So I'm sorry she was sent by God to tell her. I mean, because so, so, to, to tell so. Now, the idea is, but how did they know that her name is so? That's only because God told them. So, so they should have known that this, okay. So you're going back, and, 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 okay. So now it says that she, she stopped being a Nido. Now at that point, she became a Nido, it says. That's why the bread became Tome. That's why there's no bread that was given and stuff like that. So if she became a Nido, so, so, she's, so there's no more nests anymore. So she, I mean, or, or, or she can understand that Avram's going to have kids. And besides that, reality, when does Avram still have kids? He gets married to Keturah 40 years later. Okay, this is 99. This is uh, 99. He's not 100 yet. Right? It's next year he's going to be 100. So he's 99. So and he, at 140, uh, he, uh, after the Akedah, 
uh, on the seven, whatever it is there. Uh, that's when he might take a wife for, for so it says he was 40. He took a wife himself, Keturah, after Yitzchak gets married to Rivka. So it's 40 years later. He's, got, he's 41 years later, so he's getting married. Okay. So they first came out, and he has six children after that. So obviously, what do you mean he's an old man? He has six children yet, 41 years later. So what do you mean he's an Adeni Zokin? So the whole thing don't make sense. And, and if anybody would know, I believe the wife would know, if it's Yerna Kachetz or not. So therefore, so she should have known that he's not, a young, he's not, a, he's not an old man. So what does she mean by that, 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 that he said that then he's okay to my father, uh, my husband's an old man. So he got a limp shot that somehow uh, she knew the conversation that took place before between Avram and Urban Shalom. And why would she know that? Because she was a bigger Novi than Avram was. And we know that when Vim when they have to give Hasroya, let's say, let's say, when he was Chayiv Misa, let's say, guy says, or the Vua, that he wasn't said to him to say over. So it says, who gives, that is Chayiv Misa. So how are you going to give Misa? There's no Hasroya, right? So you have to give Hasroya, so you have says, who gives the Hasroya? Echav HaNavim. The two Nevim, because the Nevim all hear the same Nevua. But only one Navi has the, has the right to give it over. Or the thing over. But everybody hears what's happening. So they saw as a bigger Navi. I can say maybe a smaller Navi can't hear what a bigger Navi hears. But a bigger Navi hears what a smaller Navi hears. It's like an antenna. It's 10 degrees of Navi. So it means that they can go up to how high they can hear it. I went from from Pell Pet to all the way down to to uh, what's called, uh, uh, what do you call it, Racha uh, Kaidish. But it's a uh, Tzvua, okay, but it's a, it's a lesser degree. So she heard the whole conversation between God and Avram before. Now, maybe she didn't hear Avram's part, because God's part she can hear. But who says she can hear Avram's, you know, but she can hear God. So, because God speaks with a loud voice and whatever it is, is so that, you know, every nobody can hear it. So what she knows, that Avram was reluctant to have the son Yitzhak. So first of all, she's upset with him. In other words, you have a kid, so you don't, you don't need another kid. And how does she know he said that? Because he says, I heard you as far as Yishmuel goes. So therefore, she might, he must have said something about Yishmuel. So the thing is, do you think that Yishmuel can really get to the Matrega of his Halech Lefana? You know Yishmuel, or you weren't really around raising him. I was the one that was raising him. So you don't know too much about Yishmuel. You think he's a great kid, but he's not. He's a, he's a great kid, meaning for his Hakim is Halech, but not for his Halech Lefana. So therefore, if you believe that, then you're an old man. You can't raise our kids, Yitzhak, to, to be able to do that because you don't even understand what God wants from you. That was her complaint. Okay. So the Obeish, um, says he's got to make Sholem over here. So she says, Vaniso Kanti. And he makes it sound like... Like, not that she can't have kids because she didn't. He just became an, a neither, so she knows she could have kids. So obviously, it can't be that. So, obviously, if I need so Kanti, how am I going to raise the kid? I'm an old woman already. I don't have the energy or the, what do you call it, to, to, to go out and, and, and raise the kids because each kid you raise differently according to the age you have when you, when you have them. If you have them when you're young, you play ball with them, you'll take them for hikes, you'll do these things with them. More physical, when you're an old man already and you have a kid, you're sitting there learning with them the whole day. I mean, so if you have the masmid at the end, it's, you're doing very good. If you have the battling at the end and the masmid first, you lose both kids, and a thing like that. So therefore, we have a big problem. What to do? So to say, she says, I can't do it. So how did Alvaro make Shalom with her? He went over to her and he said, Sora, I hear you're worried 
you know, the stuff that I'm also worried. Let's, well, let's think about this. Well, how are we going to do this? And how are we going to do that? But now she has confidence in him in the thing over there. Now, what is it, P, that he says, are you pulling me a shem dove? It seems like it's a physical zach. Can Bob can't do it? No. The idea is you're talking about she assumes he has no keach to do it. And do we say that she's warned in her, uh, her observation? I don't think so. Because she's a novi. So she knows how the uptight she met person. She sees that there's somehow something missing there yet. Elevos, I can give you the energy back again. The Venetian doesn't have to give it. So that's a polymashem dava. I'm not because I'm going to make a nest that can have a child. I'm going to make a child that you can have the mut to be able to be the child and stuff like that. And we have this one more time by Moshe Rabbeinu later on uh, that the Moshe, that, that Moshe uh, didn't believe the Venetian will control to make uh, uh, by the bus or by, the, by the, the, the appetites over there. But that total control that the Venetian has over people, that, that, that the Moshe Rabbeinu didn't know it until then. So that was the thing, but like this, they thought this bechiret, part of bechiret, not part of bechiret. This is, this is the, the Bajishan makes this to, to give you energy, not energy, not bechiret. That Bajishan gives it to you. And it says that the chachi shor b'sleim aleitz achakbi, and which is she's right. I never lived, laughed about the ability of having the child. I just laughed about the ability that you have to raise the child, but not about the ability to have the child. So the Venetian told him, no, you laughed because you didn't believe a person could change or I can make a change to this. So it says, why did, why did the Venetian talk to him? Because he was dying to talk to, oh, and the, where do I die? The Venetian doesn't die to do anything. I mean, he did, he said, I mean that the Venetian wanted to talk to Sora to such a degree that he made it an issue of it. So he, he made it a television. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we don't say who said it, but they say that Ezekiel was that the Benjamin said it. He wanted to talk to. So we know Rashi in the end of Nosei says that that, that the God doesn't talk to men either. It's not just He doesn't talk to women. He doesn't talk to men. So all of us, he doesn't talk to human beings. Afal Pekane, he wanted to talk to Sora. That's the Kashi. So why did he want to talk to Sora to such a degree that he felt to, to, to find, even to give her Musa, but at least he talked to her. It's because you don't find that she's so holy. The Afal was Miyuchis the Terach, at the end of, of, uh, of Noyach, but not Sora. The only way we know that she's Tolan's daughter is because Yisko and Sol are the same person. But it doesn't say Sol is the daughter of Holland. It says Yisko is the daughter of Holland. And there's the thing. So therefore, it's something that that whatever we'd understand what why she's not Miyuchis, she's not called his granddaughter, she's called his, his daughter in law, Torah's daughter in law, Avram's wife. No, so it's because she's not Miyuchis there. He comes to the Indian is the non she's going. The Roy Mukhatoy La Shemoit. Moit what she says is the Yodu is Bayram of Moldaboy. He says the people people truly know what what by the Benishim's Kayak uh the Benishim, they can't run revolt against him. It doesn't make sense. Right? It doesn't mean they're fighting him. That's not that they, they, they but they mean that what happened in the parishes itself him. When a yid goes and runs face to Rovis at Smeyo, that he thinks he's better than the Torah. The Torah is evolving, and he's making it better. He's more fair than the Torah is. Stuff like that. That's Kfirah. That's the Benjamin does it, and that's what, what's doing. So is more fair. Why they more fear? Because they make it easier to do mitzvahs, they make it easier. So one of the things that we have is the fact that uh, they used to give tzedakah. Uh, on like one hand, we know that they were not bali tzedakah. They didn't want to give tzedakah at all. Then we find other places that they gave tzedakah. So I guess there's different periods of time. 
that they gave Tzedakah, but they gave a gold coin with their name on it. They got a gold coin, they never sold the guy any food till he died from hunger. Uh, it says it, it's illogical, why give him the coin? Why not just give him a bus, mus shmus? Coin and the stuff like that, that they didn't want to give the coin. Secondly, uh, if they actually hurt people, you know, stuff like that, I think there would be a revolution in the world. So obviously, they were nice, normal, normal people. Think they, but they didn't do what they, they wanted to make for the, for, the, for the world, is that it should be easier. In other words, the nation made a mitzvah of tzedakim, right? Tzedakim means, ares de whatever the guy's missing, that's what you have to give him. So it comes 12 o'clock at night, the guy's in the middle of bed sleeping, and he hears the, the bells ringing, and the guy's ringing, and he finally goes to find out who's what to do, and the guy says to him, I'm so hungry, uh, do you have anything to eat? And he has nothing in the house, he has to now make him supper, and stuff like that, right? So, obviously, that can be clear to do. Because uh, that's, that's your chiv, they might say it. Stoim said, you know, if you do that, nobody's going to give stock. They're making sure that nobody, you, nobody comes to them. So, we have a better idea. Give a check. Write him a check. That way, you know, uh, it'll be easy. You don't have any fair tech on yourself. But there's a problem with that. And writing a check is sometimes, if July 4th falls out on a Tuesday, that the stores are closed for a week, the guy will die of starvation. That's the trouble. Well, we gave him a check and he has to cash it someplace. And if the store is closed, he has nowhere to cash it. No one's going to call, we're going to give him the check if the banks are closed or whatever it is. So obviously, he can't get the money to buy the food and stuff like that. But that's not our problem. That's, that's his problem. Well, our problem was the guy should give money. He gave him checks. What do you want? Right? Because it's not, it's not solving the problem. The patient wants to stay right. When he's missing, that way the guy is going to live. This way he can die. And as long as he can still die, that's not, that, that's not the teicher that the, the patient wants. And that's one thing that was wrong. But I'm saying it's something that people may accept. and say that sounds to be a better deal. You probably get more money that way. You'll get this thing. Then the idea of being everyone being equal. In other words, they chopped off the feet of somebody who was too big for the bed. They stretched the person too short for the bed. Why? Because everyone has to be the same size. But the Vaishnav says, I made everybody different. So why do they have to be that way? I want different responsibilities, different things for each person. And therefore, each one has his own responsibilities, his own mindless that he's going to have. So therefore, it doesn't... So therefore, that's the Rav's doim. Now, it's time the Vaishnav destroyed it himself because people might think it's good. That's about Hitler, which was bad, and he knew he was bad. That, you know, the, the world will destroy so He doesn't have to do anything by himself. It sounds like Alpha Mavino then has this bargaining session with HaKadosh Baruch 40, 40, uh, 50, 45, 40, 30, 20, 10. Like, you know, he's bargaining with him. Like, you know, it, 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 you know, it doesn't make sense. I think that each one of them is a different case. First, he is 50 for five towns. It's 10 each. That means all five towns is no destruction rule. When he asks for 40, for 45 means that 9 is 10. Okay, so he had to ask one time 9 to be 10. Okay, now for 40, 40 is asking that once we already have to destroy one city, maybe you need the whole 40. It's not going to be enough, 36. So he says, there, no, I'll, I'll go for the 36 though. I mean, no, that's what the 40 means. Then he says to him, okay, what about 30? In other words, uh, 30 that you're willing already to have. It's a, 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 the first one was like, Tsoya was going to be destroyed. So Tsoya was not, was, was not as old as the other cities. He was a year behind. But now that I have already from the others and the ones that have to be maybe, 
I do the same thing. So again, he's telling me, no, I, I will do it for the 32, for the 27. Then he says, what about 20? With the life is being destroyed now. Only two are going to be sold. So would you bother to save two? And then the other one is, would you be bother to save for nine alone one? In other words, you don't even have a minion. And the mention said, all of these is room to do. Okay. Um, now, we want to see the godless of light. It's important that Taita, I think, puts it down this way. Specifically, we have all the tainas on light, Pashas Lechucha, that he went back to Sodom, and he was not interested in growing to be the best he could be, and so on. That's just true. But let's see the godless of Sodom. He went, Vayifzabam Me'oid, the Hiestis Balochim to come to his house. Now he knows Sodom is not too happy about having be inviting people to their houses, right? So, but you feel guilty. You've brought up your chinuch that you got to give tzedakah. You got to invite them to the house. So they told you, no, we'll live for chayvno. We'll sleep in the street. So therefore, you should now be thankful. You offered. They turned you down. Now you're safe. Instead, by yiftzibom oy, you kept begging them and begging them and begging them until they finally accepted. So well, why did you do that for? Elevos, that he held him chayv to do it, and that's when he was needed. Okay. Uh, <coughs> now we saw right away how did the Anshi Yisdoim know about the people? I can't answer you, but whatever it is, they knew, and uh, I guess they were so anti-people, so whatever it is, they, they kept... Uh, So we're going to see that he has two daughters. They wanted to do Mishka of Zohar. And what's, what's the point of this? That it's pure liberalism, no criticism. This is what we want to do. And we're a liberal town. We can do what we want. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay? So this is uh, what is it is. So uh, he says... Uh, no, let's do this the normal way. I have two daughters that never lived with anybody. So that's something saying something pretty big about these daughters. You're living with Sodom, living with a bunch of relatively liberal. There's nothing wrong with doing what's natural, whatever it is. Then why are they still pursuing Right? It doesn't make any sense. Right? Must be they're good girls. It's a conius. Right? So therefore, this is what they're doing. Okay? And the uh, Lema'i said they refused it, and the Malachim put them back in. And whatever it is, they're, they're going to say we're going to destroy exactly what felt we're going to destroy, because they said, and God sent us to destroy it. So like Lechayra, they, they, they know they're not destroying it. But the fact is that you even said it in the first time. You should have said right away, God sent us to destroy it, not that, that we're destroying the city. Okay. Yeah, that's I guess with Malochim, Benishim goes to Saira, that a person, the Malach can't make a mistake, even that should sound for the thing of them. And I say, I hope that God is going to be gentle with us because we don't know what a king is. So therefore, we'll be disrespectful. So hopefully, that uh, you know, we don't know what, what, what it means. You can't use your head if you disrespect. Anyway, uh, and you see that he's such that there are such people, not in the game for now, but there's this time that the upshot is that even though their, their son-in-laws, their daughters, were, were not allow you to be saved, right? But since there's sometimes the the tzitkis of the person that's being saved is big enough to save all all the people of his family, even the ones that they cannot. Did not deserve to be saved by themselves. No, they don't think. So you find that over here by light because he told his son in laws and they laughed at it. You know, so stuff like this. Obviously, they weren't saved in the end, but I mean to say that, that they, they obviously weren't nice people, but he was still willing to save him. Okay. 
and then what he called and uh, he asked over there that he saved the city. Now you'll say, Kaisha, before Avram asked for ten people to save the city, or nine people to save the city, right? And he, you see, Light himself can save the city. How come, okay, why, so why not the one, one, one tzaddik? So obviously there's a difference in the tzaddik that you're going to say because he's a tzaddik, so somehow he can, has an effect on the other people in the city. Or there's people that are tzaddikim for themselves and they happen to live in the city and they need ten people or nine people, whatever it is. I think the difference is like light. Light was not interested in competitiveness, wasn't interested in trying to be the best person he can be in Zdoim, right? But the question is what happened if he made the point I'm going to try and now preach the Torah? I think there's, you know, the priest like Avram did. So now you're enough. Now you can get you live, even if if it's only one, because you can continue to do the work of making people good. Avram was able to make good. shows many people, not just one person. So that's what they did. Okay, and the any the, uh, what he called, they go to. To what he called to, to the mount, to, to a cave, and in this cave, uh, we find the Maisel the Bnei like This is a story about Rosh Shiva when he was in uh, in Luban, that the uh, to uh, that uh, that he had a person that that uh, that got sick, and he went to uh, to Mivakechayu him. And this is what the, the story told him about this thing. He said he had a dream. He was being mavaset for Pashas Vayero. And he was talking about, he says, why is Mashiach belong to the Benai Slate? That's what bothered him. So he very soon, uh, so all of a sudden he felt very, very tired and he had to lie down. And he lied down and he had uh, a, this dream and his dream was that the uh, that, uh, that these two women come to him in the dream and they say, we well, have a tainer to God, why Mashiach belongs to us. And we'll tell you why. We could have called us, uh, our, our, our children regular names. Moshe, Aaron, whatever. Nobody knows the difference, right? But we wanted to put a lie to the immaculate conception. And that shad is if this in the mountain only a tzaddik, like light, is tzaddik is or we are tzaddikonius that the Torah says eight is on us that we were we were sumas yet in Zdoim. And if one of if we come down pregnant and the only one that was there was the father, then it comes from the father. And therefore I made my kid in Mayov, so they understand it's from my father. And you understand, and, and Ben Amon was also a nice way of saying about my father. Okay. Now the cash, if that becomes uh, the who is the biggest Sitkonis? The one that's Mavaza herself more, the mother of Mayav. So how come by Mayav it says, Lysisko ba Machoma? You know, let's start to make a war with them, but you can start up with them, you can steal from them, you can whatever it is there. On the other hand, from Amman, because she was more of a tsunua, now come for that, all of a sudden, you know, you know you're not even allowed to start up with them anything. No, you're not allowed to check them. So I want to tie in that, in the looking past him, it says that the, the Mai of him that sat in Og, they, they lived in Og, he did give them so did sell them food. So if that's the case, so it's not true that they didn't send the food, all of us. But what that means, that when they originally wanted to buy food, they first stole from them. Because they stole from them, then they were willing to sell. I was like this, if you're not gonna buy, if you're not, if you're not gonna sell me, we're gonna take it anyway. So if you can take it anyway, so we might as well sell it to you. So therefore, they would never, the caller wouldn't have been hell on them. And so therefore only did because God wanted to save them, Taki.
Amun, he wasn't that interested in saving the mother of Amun. But the mother of, uh, of Moyev, he wanted to save, except that Pshad is, in the end, so chaleim is as Bill member oil. So if you take a look, Dr. Pashas, he says, there's two reasons. That's for Amun. That's because of 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 of, of Mayav. Um, okay. Uh, Avram. When he called Isa from Avram, when El Tanegev, and uh, he went to Goro, and all of a sudden. Uh, the, what he called, he told her, uh, what, what he called, they should always say, you're my, but my sister, like Avram Avinu, like he did before Mitzrayim, so here also. Okay, so Chayre, this is, uh, there's a Ramban that says that, uh, that, you know, Chayre, he did an Aveira, in this, so this, the uh, Rosh Hashiva learned that he learned it, that it's called the Talmud Torah did it. What do you mean the Talmud Torah did it? That was the original, we don't get the original uh, uh, manuscript of anything. It says it was a manuscript of a Talmud, of a Talmud, of a Talmud, of a manuscript. But it's his Torah. And he says he, that, that it can't be that the Rabban would have said such a thing. Because you point, Avram did it twice, and Yitzchak does it once. So therefore, if you repeat it, obviously it was not something that they were obviously had. The same though. And then secondly, um, uh, what he called Chazal doesn't say it's a chet. And usually by any type of chet for the office or for the short and the Gemara would say that they did a chet. So, so to make up yourself to did a chet, it's not, it, it, no, no, no reason to say it. Um, Um, okay, you know, these, we see a big difference between Avimelech and Paroi. A Paro kicks out Avram from there, and then and he and Avimelech says, "Please stay." That was made made. Okay, we'll stop here. It's a shame. Okay. Um, yes, Hashem, I'm going to try to do this in the future too. That we should have, if I can't do it in person, that we should have a shiv. I can't guarantee it every time, but we'll try. Anyway, have a good Shabbos, have a and everything should be fine.